we've gone through all of the basics of setting everything up, let's take you through a couple of common questions in terms of pre-filling the forms. So JotForm does allow you to pre-fill data in the forms. To demonstrate that, let's take a look at the rate the member form and go ahead and hit edit form. Once you're in to prefill data, you're going to want to come to publish and then come all the way down to prefill on the left hand side. From here, you have the option to prefill either with manual data, previous form data, a table, a single sign on, Salesforce, or HubSpot. Now, keep in mind some of these more advanced do require paid plans, but you can use manual form and tables under the free account. So looking at this particular form for rating students, maybe we want to pre-fill that data with the student slash member name. So we can go ahead and select our student directory and then it will match our fields for us. So the first name with first name, last name with last name. We can add more fields in there. Uh, if we had other fields we wanted to link up, you could certainly do that and pre-fill those selections. Once you have everything in here, as you want, just go ahead and hit save settings. And now we need to click the add a new prefill button. This will take us over to the table that we're using. Again, this might look different because I've set this up in a card fashion. So to do this step, you could always first keep this table um, on the actual list format, but you certainly, once you select one, can hit select all. An important caveat to note here is that you can only select 20 members at a time or 20 rows of data at a time. So just keep that in mind, you will get an error message if you select more than 20. Once you have up to 20 selected, go ahead and hit create. And now we just have one additional step to do, actually two steps. So we want to uh, enable or disable editing for these members. If this is just a drop down form and they're looking to select information, go ahead and make it read only. But if you need them to edit the information for any reason, you can make it editable. Once you've set that, go ahead and select up to five members. So again, the second caveat, and we have this noted below, we've also included the documentation from JotForm. The first is that you can only add 20 <laughs> of the pre-fills at a time. And then when you send the invitation to the actual members or uh, email addresses, you can only send to five at a time. So there are some caveats and limitations using this functionality, but as long as you stay within those parameters, everything will move smoothly. Once you have them selected, go ahead and hit send invitation. This will bring up the email addresses, you can tailor this message and then hit send. Now, again, they will need to accept that for that information to then become pre-filled. This is currently the only way to pre-fill information. It does need to go through this uh, process regardless of if you're using tables, forms, or the manual. Once you've done that, you're all set. Here's the current article from JotForum detailing all of this. Again, we have that linked in the notes for this video as well for you to jump over and reference. I hope this has helped walk you through how to use the pre-fill function in your JotForms form and use that within your app. Mm -hmm.